That's going to do it from Pittsburgh. The plays are coming right up. Here's one for the highlight reel. It's the Doritos Crunch Time play of the game. Our final score is Pittsburgh 31, Baltimore 17. This has been a presentation of EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. I feel the master. I feel we the master. Ready. They ready. Well, come on. We well, come on. Ready. The NFL is a league of preparation. Ask any NFL coach or quarterback, preparation is the line between victory and defeat. Through film study, a team analyzes opponents from every angle. Armed with this information, teams make adjustments on the field. Success in football starts with knowing your opponent, and now Madden NFL 11 is offering the opportunity to be truly prepared. With Madden's new scouting reports feature, players can put in a call to the skybox and get situational information on their opponent. To utilize scouting, press the indicated button on the bottom of the screen. Depending on what side of the ball you're on, you'll have access to critical information on your opponent. Let's take a look at scouting reports in more detail. Here you're on defense and it's first down. Before opening the playbook or using Gameflow, first view the scouting report by pressing the indicated button. You can press one button to purchase a single report or you can press another button to purchase a report for an entire game. Whether you do it one report at a time or the full game, you will gain access to your opponent's tendencies throughout their entire online career. For your first report on defense, you will see a percentage breakdown of whether your opponent tends runs or passes in this situation. The next report tells me what side of the field he prefers to run to and gives a detailed breakdown of where he likes to throw. The th third and final scouting report reveals who he likes to run with or throw to. Keep in mind that when you scout an opponent he will receive a message alerting him that he has been scouted. Now let's take this tutorial online and see it in action. Third and short, we need a stop. I can see he likes to pass, likely a short throw to the left, and he wants to hit his running back. The NFL is often compared to a chess match, and scouting reports really brings that spirit of the game to the Madden NFL experience. Just like in the NFL, scouting your opponent offers new opportunities to use your knowledge of the game and dominate your competition. See you on the gridiron. EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, Madden fans? Carlos.
Navarro here again from the EA Sports Live team, and I'm going to help you out with the new right stick controls in Madden NFL 11. Learn to master the new controls in the locomotion system, and you'll be juking and spinning your way to victory. First off, you should go into practice mode. They are new controls, so you want to get used to them. I've also set it to off and so only, so I can show you what all of the stick motions actually do in the game. My favorite player is AD, so of course I'm going to go with him. Before, pushing right or left on the right stick would just make your player make sharp jumps to either side. But now, it allows you to make smaller, quick jukes. As with any of the right stick moves, you can string them together without getting stuck in one animation. This allows for some really nice combo jukes. Pushing up on the right stick is used to duck down and prep for a head-on hit while also covering up the ball. Be careful though because if you continue to hold forward your player will lose his balance and fall over. Just like this. Unless you compensate by releasing the right stick back. Previously pushing back on the right stick made your player do a quick stop to try and miss a tackle. Now pushing back on the right stick will cause the runner to arch his back in hopes of breaking free of a tackle from behind. The stop move is still in the game. If you want to do it, just flick back on the left stick and watch that dude just fly off the screen. You can also use the right stick to prepare your player for an oncoming tackle by pushing it to the upper left or right corner. This can help you protect the ball and possibly get a few extra yards. To perform for a spin move, you can now just rotate the right stick from one side down and around to the other. Left down to right to spin right, and right down to left to spin left. You can also use the old school B button, but using 